Coronavirus disease has been termed to be the deadliest contagious disease in recent time globally. Its prevalent rise after a short time drop in cases recorded is associated with temperature drop and change of season according to experts. Going by the statistics provided by health authorities in Nigeria, especially in relation to COVID-19 recorded cases in this Hamatan season, the prediction made about the possible resurgence of the disease is therefore a confirmation. In the last three, four weeks, we have seen a spike in terms of the number of uh, cases we are witnessing, in terms of uh, you know, positive cases. We have seen, even if you have been following you know, the, the trend that, you know, the result released by the National Cent Nigerian Center for Disease Control, you realize that you see in a day you can see Kassana State with having 30, 40, 50 cases. Not just that, what we have uh, realized now is if you take maybe 50 samples, uh, you will see that you can find up to 35 that are positive. So definitely uh, we have a second wave of COVID-19 based on the available uh, evidence. And uh, this uh, time coincide with the winter period where we have, uh, you know, cold, dry, you know, weather, the Hamatan. And traditionally, we know that during this type of uh, the year, uh, you know, virus is generally the common flu, common cold, and other, you know, respiratory tract illnesses are very common. Some scientific research also revealed the rise in COVID-19 cases in other parts of the world, according to scientist Zaid Mohammed. Temperature. There's an obtained from China short. Any temperature below 25.8 degrees centigrade, there is exponential increase in recorded cases. However, above that temperature, with any degree rise, that is minus 4.895 degrees in the cumulative cases. Also, in Brazil, data showed that is flattening of the curve above 28.5. In view of the various warning messages about the possible return of the disease with possible high rate of infection due to drop in temperature, some residents interviewed in Kasna spoke on measures they are taking to distance themselves and their family from the disease. So it's, uh, it's by observing the COVID-19 protocols like uh, uh, wearing protective devices like uh, the face masks, using the hand sanitizers, uh, avoiding the crowded places, observing the social distances. As uh, uh, provided by the experts in health sector, uh, there is a need for people to ensure that uh, they, ab uh, they abide by all the uh, precautive measures. Uh, for instance, the wearing of the face mask and uh, using of uh, uh, hand sanitizers, among others, uh, as a measure to contribute to the government effort of uh, curtailing the spread of the virus. Dr. Shamsuddin Yahya said for the spread of the COVID-19 disease to be effectively checked, people must abide by the COVID-19 guidelines and protocols. If you think you are healthy, think of your either your parents or your grandparents or other people that are you know, having some other comorbidities, you can put them in danger. Everybody is trying hard to make sure that we, we, we contain the spread of these things. So we need the understanding of people to make sure that we act responsibly so that uh, we can curtail these things. Scientist Zaid Mohammed also stressed that governments and the populace have an important role to play through a proactive approach towards curtailing the menace of the disease. This is a multifaceted activity that the population and the government will have to play their own roles towards curtailing this menace. The people are urged to abide by the WHO guidelines of social distancing, of hand sanitizing or washing of hands and the use of face masks. And from the government part, we expect to see much more aggressive testing, isolation and treatment of infected people. It is also very paramount to clear the perception of people that COVID-19 is not real before any other step aimed at addressing its spread. From African Science Literacy Network, 
Salim Ashir Mahuta and Zaid Muhammad.